unbeaten fighters and major performers. I can't tell you how excited I am about this. Held at IFL TV, MTK Global. I'm in Bolton State, Macron Stadium. With me, I've got none of them. Peter McDonough. We're here at the press conference for the big fight on May the 12th. Firstly, how are you, Pete? Yeah, very good, James. Um, just been in training camp uh, for the last seven weeks. Okay. Getting ready uh, for a big fight, you know, on uh, May 12th on Channel 5. So you're looking in good, Nick. You're looking very trim. Peter Fury, no doubt, being a bit of a ruthless taskmaster with you. How have you found camp thus far? Yeah, most de definitely. I mean, yeah, worked worked hard. We've been working very hard. Um, it's a bit of um, it's a bit of a different camp to the last one. The last one was like solitary confinement. This one just feels like a, a cat age out. Um, so, yeah, we're moving up the ladder. But hopefully next time uh, I'll be able to move into um, a Seg D uh, gel. Well documented about the ban and stuff. Can you tell us sort of what what's, what the crack is with everything? Um, yeah, no, I just I got the band, uh, took it on the chin as I take everything on the chin, uh, do everything the hard way. Um, I mean, the board have got to do what they've got to do. Uh, they've given me um, a 10 day, 11 day clearance to fight May 12th. Give me a uh, me license back a bit earlier. Uh, but while I was out, while I was out, and I had the band, I just it's just driving me on to want to do do it more, you know. You've been in the gym the whole time. You've been training during the band. You've not had any time off. Is that right? Yeah, I had no time off. Um, just just been working through it because um, I know I'll get a big opportunity soon. You know, I've just got to keep training hard, keeping myself in shape. I've been blink uh, I've been drinking plenty of Guinness, but uh, that keeps you strong and <laughs> healthy. And do you know what I mean? I just can't wait now to uh, get in there on May the 12th, which which is my little daughter's birthday. She's 12 on May the 12th, and uh, we're looking at putting the title on the line here. We're getting the title on the line, so when I win the belt, I'm going to uh, give it to my little daughter. Happy Shannon. birthday challenge for May the 12th. Can you tell us what opponent level, names of opponent you're looking at, anything in the, in the hat at the moment? Um, I think his name's David DeVos. Um, he's from Germany. Uh, he's, I think he's had 16, 17 wins and four losses. Uh, he's, he's mixed in very good company. Uh, He's mixed with Cook, um, Brandon Cook, who's, uh, I think he's number five in the world, Canadian, uh, 19 and 0. And uh, give him a good fight. Um, he's been in with a few good fighters and he's fought for a couple of good titles. So, I mean, this is this is a good step for me, you know, and uh, hopefully come through May the 12th and look on, you know. But I want to really show my, showcase my skills and show people how good I am on Channel 5 and um, show people I'm the real Cinderella man. Yeah. I've noticed something. Anytime you call a fighter out or challenge or want to fight a fighter, they seem to lose their next fight. Yeah. You seem to balk them for reasons unbeknown to me. Are you like a shark that smells blood? Do you know when a fighter could possibly beat or is struggling with weight? How are you managing to, to target fighters that seem to, to, to suffer a loss after they've had the, the balk of the McDonough curse? I mean, I just I just can see see what I, who I can beat and I can see how I can beat them. And, uh, I watch a lot of fighters, and I watch I watch a lot of fighters my own weight, and I just I don't know I just I know when the time's right, and you know I think we're the right team around me now with MTK. Obviously, I've been with for five years, unbeaten, eleven wins, uh, and obviously uh, Hennessy Sports, and obviously Peter Fury training me, and my, and my uh, sponsor Capital Fish, who've been behind me all the way, you know, Seafoods, been behind me the whole way. Um, yeah, I just think I think it's my time now. You know, 40 for some people, life's over. 40, life's begun for me. You know, and uh, come come May the 12th, you're going to see excitement. Have you changed your style of fighting to to suit the the age and the body, if you like? I mean, you, you're obviously obviously very accomplished at what you do. Has, have you had to change your your style to suit the age? No, not so much that James. I just had proper training camps, you know. Since 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 I signed with MTK, they've given me the opportunity to have proper training camps, uh, you know, proper timing. You know, not four days, eight days, two hours sitting in a McDonald's in Epsom and taking a fight at your call, you know, with two hours notice, going down there, smashing some of the bits, getting paid, coming home. You know, it's the greatest job in the world, boxing. You know, have a fight, get paid, no charge sheet. So at the end of the day, I got a charge sheet the other day, obviously for a uh, yeah, press conference, but. Um, you know, took that on the chin and I'm going to come back stronger, which you'll see on May the 12th. All right, well, the press conference is just about to start. I know you've got Series 3 of Peaky Blinders just to start filming, and I appreciate you talking to RFL TV, Peter McDonough. Cheers, James. Thank you, Thank you very much. See you, Tom. Thank you. Three rounds, three minutes, three fights. Unbeaten fighters and major performers, I can't tell you how excited I am about this.